Good morning. Welcome to Menu Monday. Are we having fun yet? Stay tuned. Everybody. So this week I have quite a few things, let's see, four, five, six, seven recipes that I did. Uh, the first one was baby back ribs and that was done in the instant pot, so we're going to start with that one. was the copycat Chick-fil-A sandwich, which I had a request to make a video on. The only thing I did different on this one than the last one was you have to take the chicken breast and, and cut it in half and pound it, or pound it, one or the other, to make it flat. Uh, so I had seen some thin chicken breasts, and I went with those, but they weren't quite as... Um, thick as my pounded chicken the last time. So a little flatter but still with that recipe uh, tastes delicious and just like the Chick-fil-A sandwich. I had some leftover buns with the sesame seeds on them so I used those instead of the regular buns and putting garlic and butter. I, I wish I had done that because that actually was nicer. But anyway I used up what I had. So here's that. <laughs>
next one was done in uh, the air fryer and it was a chicken parmesan, but I didn't do uh, pasta with it. I made a baked potato on the side, so that was a little different and actually very good. to try cupcakes. I had done the uh, nine inch, no, eight inch round cake in the um, uh, Emerald Lagasse air fryer and I wanted to try cupcakes. Now in the propane oven I can only do 12 at a time, you know, because it's the one big sheet and it only has one shelf in there. So by using two smaller six cup cupcake tins, I was able to do 12 at a time in that this oven also by putting one at the top and one at the bottom. Now, I didn't use the bake function. I have figured out with this, if you use bake, the coils on the top and the bottom heat up. If you use air fry, it's the same as convection, whereas it has the fan going and it circulates the air all around the oven. And by doing that, I didn't have to move the uh, muffins around in the oven halfway through. I just left them on the same shelf the whole time and they both cooked evenly. So that was a, a learning curve there. So the cupcakes came out fantastic. They were not burnt top nor bottom. And I topped them. I had done a cherry chip uh, cake mix, which I got a couple compliments at the store saying that that was a really good one. So it was very tasty. I did have a couple and then the rest of them went to work with Big Daddy for the guys there because I don't want to eat them all. They enjoyed them. I did a, uh, a white icing with a cherry on top.
Okay, the next night I did sweet and sour pork with fried rice. I know I got the fried rice. I'm not sure how much of the pork recipe I got. Um, and then we just put sweet and sour over the top. If anyone wants any of these recipes, just let me know and I'll put them in the comments below. and I made a shepherd's pie and it was fantastic. Here's that. And my last recipe is a steak and shake burger and fries. Um, it wasn't really any different than any other burger I've ever done. And I'm not, I don't, I've never been to a steak and shake, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. I actually prefer to use Worcestershire sauce and liquid smoke and some other seasonings in my burgers and let them soak for quite a while. Uh, so this one wasn't a real um, great meal. I don't know that I'll do it again like this. I mean, they were good, but they weren't as good as what we usually have when we do a burger. But here it is. <laughs> enjoyed those recipes if you did please give it a thumbs up and I want to thank all our new subscribers we've had quite a few hop on and we really appreciate that hope you enjoy our videos we have several coming up soon with some new products that we have um, found so for now I shall say goodbye and I shall see you again soon take care guys love y'all <laughs>